Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles. I just want to say peace first, and uh, yeah. Um, lately I've been wondering, is Spooky Noodles a good name for me? And I kept thinking about it, and I'm like, what else would I call myself, you know? This channel. Um, I like Spooky Noodles. People have told me on Facebook that it's a little bit, like, amateurish. Um, maybe I should name myself, like... I don't know, Nick's Weird Reviews or something like that, um, but I don't want to be too generic, and I like Spooky Noodles and the the uh, history I have with it, so <clears throat> leave your comment in the description if you think I should change it or whatnot, um, or if I should keep it. Um, I'm just debating about it, and I just, I don't know, but uh, here I am today uh, with a collection video. And I know I've already done this one before, but the collection has increased, so I'm doing a re-upload of it. Um, and this is Ronald Kelly's collection, if you read the title. Um, and I have recently, um, I did a video where I showed you guys uh, some of the signatures that he gave me. I sent a bunch of books to him, and he signed them for me, and did some artwork with them, and then sent them back. So I thought I'd do this and do a little update, um, show everything I got, um, and yeah, maybe you guys will marvel over them. I'm a huge Ronald Kelly fan. I've read Fear, and I've read Father's Little Helper, well, halfway through Father's Little Helper, and I've read uh, 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 Skeleton, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Glowbones and Other Halloween Tales. Love that, by the way. Uh, it has one of my favorite short stories of all time in it, and that is uh, Mr. Mackey's... Mr. Max... Mr. Max? Mr. Mackey's... I can't remember the name of the story at the moment, but uh, it will come to me. Actually, it's in one of these uh, stories collections that I have, so I'll get to it. But uh, first, let's talk about some of the stuff I have. We're going to start with this Dark Dixie um, audiobook. Tales of Southern Horror, read by Reg Green. It's 90 minutes, it's one cassette, and has 3D sound effects. Now, he signed it, as you can see right there. And I think this is so cool. I'm never going to open it, but uh, it's really cool to own. Um, I think it also has... No, it doesn't. Never mind. It just says on the back that... Uh, there's other novels out there and stuff like that. Um, but I'm very excited to own this. I'm hoping one day to actually listen to it. Uh, not this, obviously. This is just a collector's piece. But uh, yeah. Next, he signed me Strong Steps. It's just a little, um, what do you call these? Uh, pocket fiction. Um, it's like, how many pages is this? 65 pages um very uh very cool thing uh it says to nick his name is legion and he is many pretty cool stuff then we get to the other books uh this book i am still currently reading um Actually, I'm not currently reading. I'm waiting till next month, and then I'm going to jump right back into it and finish it. I'm, I said halfway through, but I'm a little bit behind halfway. Um, I'm, I was really enjoying this when I took a break. It's just because I, it fell out of season. You know, this is a Christmas story, and uh, I know it doesn't look like a Christmas story, but uh, it's like a Christmas story with serial killers and... Uh, yeah, it just fell out of the season, so, you know, I put it down for a little while. But, uh, this is one of the cool books I own. Here's some artwork. Tunic, Many Happy Nightmares. This is one that I'm I'm really happy about. I like this book so far, and I can't wait to finish it. Um, I want to finish it while it's still cold outside, <laughs> so I can still get that feeling of Christmas time. Next, we have Possession, or The Possession. And uh, it's not in the best condition, but what makes this special is it is signed to me. It says, To Nick, beware of ghosts. 
ghosts of was long past. Sorry, I sometimes struggle with cursive, but uh, yep. Next, we have Pitfall. And here is some artwork. It says, To Nick, all my best. Gonna read that one very soon. Then we have Bloodkin, which is his take on vampire stories. And once again, it's got a, a vampire with a nice mustache. And it says, To Nick, Return of the Old School Vampire. So, you know I'm excited to read that one when I get to it. And one of these months, I'm just gonna have a Ronald Kelly themed month where I read two books by Ronald Kelly. Um, might be next month, I'm not sure. I haven't really decided next month. This month is all figured out. It's Kathy Koja and James Rath James White. Um, but next month, it's not Ladies of Horror or Black History Month. Um, so um, I have a little bit of freedom to pick whoever I want to read. And I'm probably going to stick to J James Rath, or Rath James White or Kathy Koja just because they're really good authors. Um, I might read The Cypher next month or I might read another uh, Rath James White book it depends if I can afford one but uh probably gonna read the cypher for by Kathy Koja um so maybe not next month but uh the next the month after um I'll probably get back on my Ronald Kelly kick or my coming of age uh TBR uh I don't know yet but next speaking of coming of age hindsight now this one I hear great things about uh, it was actually called like the tobacco barn before um, he decided with hindsight I believe um, and same with pitfall was like supposed to be pit devils and 12 gauge it actually has another name which is uh, or father's little helper has another story name called 12 gauge I think I might have called it 12 gauge earlier but uh I don't know if I read old school vampire yeah that's right um, this one has a really cool cover um, and it says, To Nick, Evil Lurks in the Old Tobacco Barn. Ronald Kelly. Can't wait to read that one when I get to it. Um, this one's actually in pretty good condition, actually. I'm really proud of some of the condition of these books. Here is another really good conditioned book. Um, something Out There, which is also called Dark Un. Um, to Nick, Beware the Dark Un. Got a crow. Most of his books take place in uh, where he lives in, in uh, I want to say Tennessee. I don't know if that's right or not. Uh, but uh, next is Moon. I don't know if I showed you the cover to this one. Something out there. I showed you the inside, I believe. Here's Moon of the Werewolf by Ronald Kelly, obviously. Um, this also has a name called, it's also under the name uh, The Undertaker's Moon, which is probably the cooler name, but this is the cooler cover if you ask me. Um, if you ask me. Uh, he takes pride in the newer cover. I totally understand that, but I'm very happy to own this one. There's his little werewolf, uh, really cool. It says, to Nick, the howl lives. Howler lives. The howler lives. All right. Now, this book is very, very special to me. Um, I originally read another copy, a version of this book. Not version. Um, my copy that I read was utterly destroyed. So I went and bought a new one so he can sign it for me. Because this is my favorite book of all time. Um... That is Fear by Ronald Kelly. Um, very, 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 very good coming of age story. One of my, it's my favorite coming of age story of all time. It just beats uh, the Traveling Vampire Show show by uh, uh, Richard Lehman. Um, very, very, very good, good uh, story. Um, I gave it five stars, solid five stars. Um, like if I could give it more, I would give it more. But uh. 
this book really sparked my coming of age uh, TBR. Um, as soon as I found it, I picked it up and read it. I, at the time, Richard Lehman's uh, the Traveling Vampire Show didn't think it could be beat. This one blew it out of the water. Um, barely, though. So, <laughs> I say blew it out of the water, but then I say barely, so that's kind of... Uh... Anyways, um, inside, he says, To Nick, I hope you enjoyed your trip to Fear County. So, that's Fear, my favorite book of all time. Then we have a rare, rare book. Now, you might ask, why is this rare? Well, from what I'm told, only 12 of these exist. So, I'm very fortunate to have my hands on this. Um, I'm hoping to one day own some of his Thunderstorm books, but uh, that's those are hard to come by and those are hard to afford. They cost money that I don't have. Um, but maybe one day I'll be able to purchase them. But this is Cumberland Furnace and other forged forged fables. That's a really cool heart and, and little, uh, I don't know what those are, uh, tendrils of grass or, or something. I don't know. But uh, only 12 of these exist, I was told. And here it is, signed as well. That is such a wicked drawing, too. Tunic, I hope you enjoy these Fear Forged Fables. All my best, Ronald Kelly, 11 2019. I actually got this out of my friend, my swap box partner, got herself and me a version of this. And um, she gave it to me in the swap box. I feel horrible because she totally topped me. She uh, destroyed me in the swap box. Like, if there was a winner, she won. So, uh, but these ha have stories like, it has my favorite story of all time in it. And that would be, uh, let's see. Um, t -t 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 Mr. Mac and the Monster Mobile. That's what it's called. Mr. Mac and the Monster Mobile, I wish was a book. Because that is one of my favorite short stories of all time. Like, like I, my favorite short story used to be The Fly, but this one just blew it out of the water for me. I, I loved, love, love, love Mr. Mac and the Monster Mobile. I, I, I forget the name of the title sometimes, but whew, it's, it's, it's such a good uh, tale. I liked, uh, I liked it a lot. Um, it's kind of a coming of age story, if you ask me. Um, really, really good. Um, like I said, only like 12 of these exist. Paperback form. It's available in ebook, but in this this form, I think there's only 12 of them. So that's why that one's special. Next, we have this really cool book. This is one of his newer books. Um, I don't know if it's signed or not. Yeah, it's signed. And that is The Buzzard Zone by Ronald Kelly. Look at that sweet cover. I think he did the art for it. Um, This is about zombies. I haven't really told you what the other books are about, but uh, this is about zombies. Basically, a uh, there's like the zombie horde, and you can see them coming because there will be buzzards in the sky. So that's how they get alerted to the fact that there are zombies coming. And it is signed, so... To Nick, Many Happy Nightmares. It has zombies. So he's done vampires, zombies. He's done coming of age, ghost stories. Here's another coming of age, by the way. And this one is very, very special. Um, because a friend gave it to me. And she didn't have to give it to me. Um, but she did. And I'm so, so happy. I almost teared up when she gave it to me. Like... When I got it in the mail and I made a video, I was trying to keep my cool, but I really wanted to tear up really badly. And that's because she gave me a Cemetery Dance a version, a edition, I should say, of Hell Hollow by Ronald Kelly. Um, and this one too, I believe, yep, is signed by Ronald Kelly. So, yeah, I... It's, it's just freaking amazing. Um, uh, this is a coming of age story also. Um, 
very, very fortunate to own this. Uh, I, I, uh, it's amazing that every single one of my Ronald Kelly books are signed. Uh, I don't know how many I'm missing. Um, I need like China Doll, but I'm not sure if that is being sold as a paperback. I think that's an ebook exclusive. Um, there's like the other versions of some of these books, like 12 Gauge, Undertaker's Moon, um, you know, uh, just other books with different titles. I didn't know some of them had different titles. Um, I also need some of his collections, um, which I think are only ebooks exclusives. Um, he also has some audiobooks available out there. I'm missing some books, but I got most of them. I got most of them. So, Hell Hollow tops it off. Um, she's also, she said this, but it's hard for me to believe anyone's going to do anything nice for me. But she's come through before. So, she said she's going to send me her other version of this book. It's a library version. And she's going to let me read it. Um, because um, I obviously don't want to wreck this book. Um, this book is very special to me. Um, and I really don't want to mess it up. So she's going to send me her library copy and I'm going to read the crap out of that one. Um, but yeah, this has been my um, Ronald Kelly collection. Um, this is the updated version. Um, because I've already done this before. And uh, this is going to be number two, I guess. Um, uh, or not number two, just a re-upload. Um, my tortoise is moving around. He's drinking some water right now. I got to give him some food. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my Ronald Kelly collection. Um, this has been a re-upload because uh, I've already done this one before. And uh, yeah, uh, it has. he wrote my favorite book of all time which is fear it was definitely a great trip down fear county i forget what the county he cur currently lived in um for some reason like plain view plains view is coming in my head but i don't think that's the what the town was called um but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed my collection um i'm a big richard layman or <sighs> ronald kelly fan um I'm thinking Richard Layman because I just I'm looking at a Richard Layman book right now and I'm thinking oh I gotta put that in uh in my uh in my Richard Layman pile. Uh, I have a huge pile of Richard Layman books, and I recently just got rid of a bunch of Richard Layman books. Um, I own like duplicates of some books. Like I have Two Wake the Dead, and then I have Amara, so I don't need both of those. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um collection video um i'm gonna you know pile these back up and put them back on my bookshelf um i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you have a good day spooky night i'll see you in the next video peace guys now i am become death